Well, good evening again. What a way to round, round off the Electricity League Premier Division weekend. It is the meeting of the top two at Tallis Stadium. Shamrock Rovers and Dundalk and plenty on offer here tonight. Shamrock Rovers know this is a chance to reassert their dominance at the top of the table. Dundalk, though, arrive having eaten up the ground of late and a chance to move to within one point as we head into the business end of the season. Surveying his options, headed clear by Cleary. Sits here nicely for Greg Sloggett. And now Makari goes in low. And Rovers well populated back there and it's Daniel Cleary to play oh. it away. Good now trouble. Gaffney, Robbie McCourt thought initially he might be able to get there. The hard oh, running Gaffney is away from him. Rory Gaffney in on goal, here's a chance, squares it across, Aaron Green must be oh. in his. Rory Gaffney, unbelievable. Against the run of play, Shamrock Rovers in front, all of them talks good work in the early minutes undone. And Rory Gaffney, pace and power. Setting it up for his strike partner, Shamrock Rovers, one Dundalk nil. Unbelievable counter-attack, Des. The positional sense from Dan Cleary in the box was brilliant to start with, and then the ball down the side. Sam Bowen gambles, and you can't gamble with Gaffney like that. Just rolls him down the side. And McCourt is then left in no-man's land. He tries to take him out, he's got a booking for it. But Gaffney's composer just to lift his head up and square it. And he won't give his strike partner Aaron Green an easier finish than that. He's got a few assists for Dundalk this year. And that was, that was nearly another one. An offside line not working for Dundalk as Green is in again. Square is it 2 0 Richie Tell. And all the issues Dundalk have in terms of personnel in that back line are coming home to roost here. Shamrock Rovers time and again with that ball in behind, and it has reaped a huge dividend. And this is where he goes early. Des, he's the one that makes the run early and he's the one that should be offside but by the time Green makes his run and a square back across Tell is the one that's onside and it's as an easy finish as you like he's going to get booked here as well for leaving the pitch and celebrating in front of Dundalk fans and we reference that cup final and that hat-trick against Shamrock Rovers for Macmillan and they need something from him and they'll take a goal from anyone. Keith Ward steps up on oh, target. What Great a save. save. Clawed away by Alan Manis. Oh, it was a pinch oh. before he kicked. Looked for all the world like it was heading in. And Alan Manis got across and got that ball to safety. It's an unbelievable effort from Ward, first of all. A fantastic effort. Like you said, he wanted it straight away. He's gone for the one over the wall. He's caught it so well. Manus is red and he's just, like you said, it's like it's behind him. And he's managed to get his arm behind it and claw it out of the top corner. Now Bradley's staying off the right. What? Ward will play in beside Alfie Lewis, but looking like he's going to drive forward a little bit more than Sloggett would have. Leahy had to get rid of that sharply. And Alfie Lewis late in the tackle. Advantage allowed here. It's Aaron Green. It's got Rory Gaffney on the inside. He's got to square it. He does square it. And there's a call for Shamrock Rovers. Another breakaway goal. And is that it? Done and dusted. Well, not just tonight's game, but is that a massive step towards the retention of the league title towards three in a row? And if anyone deserved the goal, it's Gaffney. Unbelievable. You could see it happening right in front of us here, Des. But you're saying again, they're open. There's nothing in behind them. They nick it. And all it is is help down the side. Aaron Green's probably last touch was the one I was worried about because it takes him away from goal. But he fires it across. And it's the easy if it finishes from Gaffney. And a reminder next up is Ferenc Farrell's second leg. Shamrock Rovers.ie for your tickets. As Sean Hoare heads clear. Alfie Lewis. Lovely ball outside of the right boot. Caresses it across to that left-hand side. Ward cutting in. Shot is there to be taken on. Alan Manis bats it away. Chance. Macmillan's effort smothered and a second effort saved. And is there to be no late consolation for Dundalk? It's a wonderful effort from Ward. It's I think it's a little nutmeg on the edge of the box originally that opens up the chance. He takes a second touch, he fires a thunderbolt that man. His man is just palms are up in the air. Not sure if it's Macmillan pulling on the next one. See you here, the air. It is a little nutmeg. And this, this second touch just sent. He smacks it. 
This is an unbelievable block from Kavanagh actually when it's coming down because McMillan watches it. Another way. Green tonight. I know he goes off with 20 minutes to go, but he's been he was fantastic. Two assists and a goal. He he, he constantly harassed the back line of, uh, of all the different centre-backs that were playing tonight for Dundalk. Oh, here might be a chance. Adams looking for the topo finish. And Alan Manis again. Three superb saves tonight to deny Dundalk once more. And that's the best chance for the night, really. They've worked that one really, really well. This is a great little ball inside. This little shot from Bradley, I think it's through O'Neill's legs. Ward. Here's Alfie Lewis. Lovely touch. And a ball whipped at him. Halga stands it up just too high for Benson. Ward scoops it back in and Alan Manis will come and claim and his will be the final touch on a big, big night for Shamrock Rovers. A night where Dundalk came to town in form and hoping to close within one gap, one point at the top and set up a grandstand finish this season. But Shamrock Rovers clinical when the chances came their way. The goals in the first half from Aaron Green and Richie Towle and in the second half from Rory Gaffney. Yeah, it's an important win. Um, we knew it would be. Uh, we knew they'd come here and have a right go at us off the back of Europe. Um, and we spoke with them towards the in the dressing room that we had to be focused and ready for today. And to be fair to the players, they've stepped up with a, with a brilliant performance.